Hello boys and girls, welcome back to Storytime with Adele. How are you feeling today? I hope you're feeling good. Have you pressed the like button and the subscribe button yet? Don't forget to do it. Today's book is called Poles Apart and it's by Jean Willis and illustrated by Jarvis. And can you see the characters in today's story? Do you know what they are? Right, it's about a polar bear and some penguins, and they go on rather an adventure. Shall we see what happens? Are you ready? As everyone knows, penguins are found at the South Pole and never at the North Pole. At least, not until the day. The Pilchard Browns got lost on their way to a picnic. Mr Pilchard Brown was in charge of the map. He told everyone to turn right at the snowman, which was wrong. And now here they all were on the other side of the world. Mr and Mrs Pilchard Brown, Peaky, Poots and Pog. Can you see them? Peaky, Poots and Pog. Drifting towards an enormous, furry, white... What could it be? Something. Is it a lion? Is it a tiger? Asked Peaky and Pog. The enormous something looked them up and down. He had never seen anything like the Pilchard Browns before. I'm Mr. White, he said. I'm a polar bear. And you are? Parrots, squeaked <laughs> Peaky and Poots. Pork pies, said Pog. We're penguins, said Mrs. Pilchard Brown. <laughs> Pork pies? Parrots? <laughs> what are you doing here, wondered Mr. White. This is where polar bears live, not penguins. We're going to have a picnic at the South Pole, said Pog. This is the North Pole, my friends, said Mr White. The South Pole is 12,430 miles away. So I was a few miles out, shrugged Mr Pilchard Brown. Anyone can make a mistake. Don't think of it as a mistake, said Mr White. Think of it as a big adventure. I've often dreamt of being the first polar bear to reach the South Pole. Mummy says we should always follow our dreams, said Peaky. Daddy says we should always follow him, said Poots. Lead the way, Mr White, said Mr Pilchard Brown. <laughs> Uh-oh, looks like trouble. What can you see? Oh, <gasps> something looks rather hungry. The penguins followed Mr. White over land and sea. Eek! said Peaky. Whoa! said Poops. Can we have our picnic now? said Pog. But it wasn't the best spot. So they followed Mr. White all the way to. Any ideas? All the way to. America. Howdy, said Mr. Pilchard Brown. Busy, said Peaky. Buzzing, said Poots. Can we have our picnic, said Pog. Not now, dear, said Mrs. Pilchard Brown. America was awesome. Can you see them in the picture? But it wasn't home, so they followed Mr. White all the way to, can you think of a place? All the way to England, all the way to England. How do you do, said Mr. Pilchard Brown. Gray, said Peaky. Grand, said Poots. Can we have our picnic, said Pog. 
Not now, dear, said Mrs Pilchard Brown. England was charming, but it wasn't home. So they followed Mr White all the way to... All the way to... Italy! Wow, look at that! What can you see in the picture? Do you know what these things are called? Have you ever been on one before? Can you see? There's somebody... Oh, <laughs> he's having a bit of a fun time. Can you see the man who is using this here to move the boat, pushing along, along the floor so the boat moves? It's called a gondola. Anyway, they are in Italy. Let's see what they get up to. Ciao, said Mr. Pilcher Brown. Wet, said Peaky. <gasps> Wonderful, said Poops. I need a wee, said Pog. Not in there, dear, said Mrs. Pilcher Brown. Italy was magnifico, but it wasn't home. So they followed Mr. White all the way to... Think of a place. What could it be? India. Woo! What can you see in India? <gasps> What's that man doing there, I wonder? Can you spot our friends? <gasps> Namaste, said Mr. Pulcher Brown. Hot, said Peaky. Huge, said Poops. Put the python down, dear, said Mrs. Pilcher Brown. India was dazzling, but it wasn't home. So they followed Mr. White all the way to... Australia. Wow! They've got miles. Good eye, said Mr. Pilcher Brown. Faster, said Peaky. Fun, said Poots. <laughs> they are having fun. Look at those. Can we have our picnic now, said Pog. Soon, said Mrs. Pilcher Brown. Australia was bonza, but it still wasn't home. So they followed Mr. White all the way over the land and over the sea. Can you see them? Oh, I wonder where they've gone. On and on they went. But of all the wonderful places in the world, there was no place like home. <sighs> Are we nearly there yet? said Peaky, Poots and Pog. It's not far now, said Mr. White, and they followed him left, right, left, right, all the way to home. Please stay, Mr. White, said Peaky and Poots. You can share our picnic, said Pog. So Mr. White stayed, and for a while he was happy. But the South Pole wasn't his home. He was a polar bear, and polar bears don't live there. Which is why he said goodbye and walked 12,430 miles all the way back to... The North Pole, where he belonged. He'd followed his wildest dream and had the best adventure. Even so, he was sad to think that he would never see a penguin again. But to Mr. White's delight, he did. What? It's a little penguin. Hello. How did you get there? He said. Where is your family? Here we are. 
said Mr. Pilchard Brown. Someone put my egg in your hat, said Mrs. Pilchard Brown. Peaky and Poots pointed at Pog. Can we have our picnic now, he said. And although the North Pole isn't home to penguins, Mr. White was always happy to see friends. Welcome back, he said. What a lovely story. And what an adventure. I wonder if you've been to any of those places. Can you remember what they were? America, what was the next one? England, can you think of the rest? What an adventure. I'm so glad you joined me for our Poles Apart story. Don't forget, if you like the story, please like and subscribe. I'll see you soon. Have a fantastic day. Bye.